before seeing the effect of logs and how we use them in undo and redo in recovery algorithms, it is worth to emphasize again on the importance of the wall or write ahead log protocol. This is particularly important because we are considering still no force database management systems. No force means that if a transaction made a change and committed, some of the changes may not have made it to the disk if a crash happens at this time. So if there is no record of that change, how database management system is going to keep the promise of surviving the crash? Therefore, before writing a page to disk, every update log record describing a change to the page to be written must be forced to stable storage. This means all records up to this point. The same force of log trails to stable storage happens when a transaction commits. So the definition of a committed transaction is effectively a transaction all of whose log records, including a commit record, have been written to stable storage. Using only logs to recover the state of the system might be bothersome. This is because searching for the log records to redo or undo is time consuming. Also, redo involves doing tasks that are already done in the system at some point. So maybe having the state that they are already done at might help improve performance. So we use periodic checkpointing in addition to logs to save snapshots of the system to reduce the amount of work that is necessary to recover. How we save checkpoints is important. We can assume that during saving checkpoints, no update could be performed and all modified buffer pages, along with transactions in progress, are written to disk as part of the checkpoint. However, enforcing the first rule, which is not allowing the updates to happen during checkpointing, might also be performance limiting. It also needs additional mechanisms to enforce the rule. Another type of inexpensive checkpointing, which is called fuzzy checkpointing can also be used, which allows the progress of updates while the checkpoint is in progress of being written out. However, due to allowing changes while the checkpointing is in progress, a fuzzy checkpoint is reliable only up to the point of the earliest log sequence number it has recorded. When the system comes back after a crash, the restart process begins by locating the most recent checkpoint record. Checkpoints record transaction table and dirty page tables. The transaction table contains one entry for each active transaction, which can be in the in progress, aborted, or committed state. The transaction table has a field called last LSM which records the ID of the most recent log record corresponding to this transaction. The dirty page table contains one entry for each dirty page in the buffer pool. Remember from our buffer management discussions that a dirty page is a page that has changes which is still not written back to disk. Dirty page table also has a field that relates to the log records, which is the idea of the first log record that caused the page to become dirty. If you pay close attention to our logs and transactions here, you will find out we have two transactions, T1000 and T2000. In the first log record shown, transaction T1000 changes the value of bytes 21 to 23 of the P500, which is page 500, from ABC to DEF. The dirty page record pointing to this LSN is also shown. Can you find out what other log records and pointers and the transaction table entries are depicting?